Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Come I'm here. looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean... If you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Hola, senor. Let's go, girl. Maybe Charity will find you! Help a blind man. Here you go. Two strangers seek thee. One from this world. Perhaps one from another. One brings hatred. I'm not so sure what the other brings. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it.
help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <clears throat> you a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. <laughs> Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. But they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> You seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... 
A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, the owner of a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town, and oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slope. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. OK. 
Okay. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He... I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Okay, Missy. some peace and quiet. Yeah. Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm i throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Pretend he's Micah! Some Redskin try and stay on your feet, you hear? <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. 
Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf, whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... No, oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or... Give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. You look where anyway, you're I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> you couldn't have thrown that fight! Never just one fight! Evidently! Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San and knee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me. 
that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady'd set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat>
doing well. Sir, is this your first time in my saloon? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time... All three, but same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. A ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along, too. Build a cabin on the land. 
I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You all right? Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. <laughs> Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there. Somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Hmm. Come on. Let's go follow them. <laughs> Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. through here. Easy, easy. There they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. Hold. You won't 
freaking north through here? What are you doing, huh? You talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Your chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys, blow us. Let's get closer.
We need our horses. What's it look like? Get him up there! Come on! Let's go! Go for a ride! Oh. Now let's get out of here! Come on! I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then... You killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How do work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. Brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's, uh, put him in the cell. <sighs> Damn you! One with the door. <sighs> We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, right. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh. And James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, 
I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Come on, lady. 